Hey guys, I do not have a full vlog for you this week because my brother and sister-in-law are here visiting. I'm speaking like it's past tense, but it's, this hasn't happened for me yet because I'm filming this intro on May 31st. But by the time you're watching this, that will have already happened. So I have this as like my vlog for the week since I couldn't film anything else. But it's an exciting one because you're gonna see the house. It feels weird. I feel like I'm lying just talking about it. <laughs> so for my time, I'm going to the house tomorrow. We're flying there and back in one day. Our flight out leaves at 6 a.m. So I just set an alarm for 3 a.m. <gasps> and that's why I'm doing the intro the day before because tomorrow morning I'm not gonna have time to intro this. This is not gonna be like a full house tour probably, but it would be basically that. I don't know. I'm gonna show you some of the rooms and like the new art room. Well, the whole basement is basically my art area now. So <laughs> I also just wanted to give a quick thank you to you guys cause I'm self-employed. Everything I do is social media based and based around my shop. So if you've watched my videos over the years, if you've purchased from my shop, if you've watched my Twitch streams or subscribed over there, anything, that has all contributed to my income, which means you guys are the reason we can have this house. Obviously Christian works too and there's his income, but like, I'm just shocked we can afford a place like this. This is our first house. Maybe it'll be our forever house. I have no idea. We're basically skipping the starter house phase. I mean, I guess this was our starter house, except we rented it. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's just a dream come true. I'm still in denial and thank you, thank you. <laughs> Okay, it's Wednesday morning. I could not fall asleep last night. I could not stay asleep last night. I'm just too excited. I was even dreaming about house stuff. I got a coffee in the airport and it's been leaking all over me. It's leaking through the bottom of the cup, so now I'm just covered in coffee. <laughs> Okay, here's the house tour. Starting at the front, this is the porch area. There's a nice big closet and you walk into the dining area right here. So that's where we'll put our big table. And then forward is the living room and the kitchen off to the side. So there are these huge windows. There are vaulted ceilings and gigantic windows. There's a fireplace there. Yeah, cute, cute. And the view. Oh my God, look at this. There's a huge pond out back, a storm drainage pond. You can't swim in it because it'd probably be full of toxic stuff, but <laughs> it's pretty to look at. And there's this giant tree that we asked to keep because it was there when we did our viewing and we're like, can we have that? <laughs> so we got the tree on that coffee table. Here's the kitchen. We also asked for those bar stools there. So we're keeping those. And there's an espresso machine on the counter because our realtor, Harry, got that for us as a gift and some champagne. I was like, what? So feeling super spoiled. Gonna have some fancy coffees. <laughs> there's a gas stove top, which I'm a little bit scared of. I'll just have to get used to it, I guess. There's a dishwasher. Hallelujah. Oh my God, we don't have one here. It's gonna be so great. <laughs> and there's a little balcony right there in the fridge. All the appliances are KitchenAid, it's pretty cool. There's the oven and microwave to the left. And then there's this little counter here, which we might use as like our little coffee making nook. We'll see, I'm just trying to cover stuff there. <laughs> and then in this door is the pantry. Oh yeah, oh, we don't have a pantry here. So that again, amazing. And then here's the little mud room. 
there is a closet. They have their vacuum hose in there. Well, I guess it's our vacuum hose now. <laughs> and then some coat hooks and another good size closet. So lots of places to put coats and stuff over here. Mm -hmm. Lovely, yes. Okay, we get it. Close that now, okay. And then off to the left here, we have the garage, which is a double car garage. It is not heated, but it is insulated. Um, yeah, and look at that floor in there. It's so clean and nice. It's very nice, very, very nice. And there's a little storage unit in there that they left. So that's nice. Everything's nice, nice, nice. <laughs> and then coming around here, we have the bathroom. Whoa, it's very zebra. But it's a pretty little bathroom. We'll probably repaint that. That is paint and it's kind of thick, so we might have to sand it off. I don't know. But yeah, this loops back around to the dining table area and the porch, so you can do a little loop there. And going up the stairs, we have this huge loft area. This is gonna be Christian's man cave, his man loft, where he can have his whole setup with the TV and like his work desk and stuff. So great size room and Look out this window here. Another amazing view. Like, oh my God, that is just gorgeous. So yay, lucky ch. I mean, I get a view of my own also, but this is a nice high view. And then coming around this way, we have the upstairs bathroom, which is a full bath. Oh yeah, there's me. Hi, hi. Um, yep, there it is. It's brown and white. Yep. All right. There's a tub, there's some storage coming out. We can go down the hallway. And on one side to the left, we have the laundry room, yay! <laughs> there's a nice bar in there to hang some stuff and a little counter. And here's spare bedroom number one. It's got a good size closet. And spare bedroom number two, also with a good size closet. I attempted to show it, then I'm like, why am I showing the one that's like behind the main door? I don't know, but. There it is, a very interesting way the doors open because the ones we have now are the accordion style that fold in half as you open it, so yeah. And then there's a, a front street view out that window. And then there's the master bedroom, which is huge. So there is a bed frame in here we are keeping, but it's a queen, so it's gonna go in the spare bedroom. And there's this nook over here, like what are we even gonna do with that? There's lots of room for dressers, but will we even need dressers? Because we have this huge walk-in closet, oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, and then double sinks. There is a tub with jets. Oh yeah, a little window there. Hello. And there is a burnt out light right now, so it's a bit dark, but here's where the shower is, and it even has a bench in it. Mm-hmm, fancy. And then there's a separate little room for the toilet. Yay. And there's lots of zebra. There's 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 little remnants of it. You should have seen the listing photos. So much zebra everywhere. It's kind of funny. <laughs> zebra wall. Whoa. Okay. Now. I don't know where I'm going next. But, uh, oh, there's a little pencil. We found this underneath the bed. <laughs> and it's a sketching pencil specifically. I was like, hmm? It's a sign. It's a sign. <laughs> that it's supposed to be mine, I guess, the house. I don't know. So yeah, just walking back out to see the loft. And then there's this little railing here, this little lookout where you can look down to the living room below. Oh my, oh, gorgeous. Oh, so many windows. Okay, now we're going downstairs. The entrance to the basement's right at the base of the stairs that go upstairs. So coming on down to my space. Oh, here's the studio. Here it is, here it is. <gasps> my new studio space. I'm taking over this whole area. It's huge. It's it's gigantic. It looks small right now. Once you see me full body, you'll kind of realize the full scale of this room. And again, a great view. Not as high up of, as a view as the main floor, but yeah, this is the basement. It's a walkout basement, but this is a basement. This is with the lights off. It's already this bright. Like, what? Ugh, it's just so perfect, and it's even hard floors, which is good because carpet would get so dirty if it was my workspace. Here's the walkout doors. We might extend that patio in the future, but... Look at this. There's a little nook by the staircase, which might be where I put my glass display case for my dolls. And then there is this closet underneath the stairs. Hello again. Open it up. Boom, storage. 
So I could probably put some little shelving units in here and could keep a lot of stuff in there. It's quite high. I can stand up in there easily. And there's some stuff the old owners left behind, like paint and wood pieces and stuff. So that'll come in handy if we need to do repairs and whatnot. And then at the back here, there are three more rooms. So on the left is the furnace room, and it's quite huge. Whoa. And the furnace splits so you can control the temperature differently upstairs versus main floor and basement. So that's really nice. Here's a bathroom. This is like probably one of the nicest bathrooms in the whole house. It's got like fancy floor tile and stuff. And I'm like, huh, this is the basement one and it gets the fancy floor. <laughs> and then there is a bedroom back here, which I will probably use for storage for things like boxes for shop orders, you know, when they're flat and kind of ugly looking. And, you know, if I get a huge sketchbook shipment, I can toss them all down here. And there's a big closet as well. It has its own light inside of it. So, yeah. Oh, my God. So this will all be, like, mine, basically. You might use this back room for some house storage as well. But at least this big room out here, that's my new art room slash warehouse slash streaming space. Here's me standing there for some scale. I mean, I'm only 5'2", so that probably makes the room look bigger also. But... <laughs> Yes. Oh my God. I cannot believe it. I, I, oh, I'm looking at this footage and I just, I can't wait to be there. Oh, and we have our very first spider bro in the corner. And then there's a little one on the wall there. So yeah, little spider friends and a little ducky swimming in the water. He's very tiny, far, far in the distance. Oh, oh, gorgeous. And we are now back in Vancouver. We got back around 520 and I fell asleep almost immediately after getting home and woke up four hours later, ate a bit of food and went back to bed. It's now Monday and instead of just chatting to the camera, I'm gonna go package some orders while I say more of the updates I wanted to say. <laughs> so, uh, man, being at the house, I just wanted to be back so badly. It was like this gorgeous sunny day. I didn't wanna leave, I just wanna go back. But yes, let's do this order for Amba. We have Dainty Flower Weekly Planner Pad and two Dainty Flower Washies. My elbows are killing me because lugging that purse around everywhere, it was just a bad idea. I should have done a small backpack or something because oh, that purse is convenient. It opens nicely. It's great for travel. Especially if you have it under your, the seat in front of you on the airplane, you can like grab your stuff. Because I had my switch in there. I had my camera with its mini tripod. And I had a bag with my microphones in it. Because I wasn't sure if I was going to do some speaking stuff in the house. So, yeah, I had a lot in there. And my elbows are paying the price. Because they're weak. And when I carry heavy stuff, they get really sore. So, it mostly hurt last night. Like, when I woke up after my four hours, I was just, my elbows were on fire. <laughs> So they're a little better today. I was up pretty early, at least since I slept so much last night. And I got to cleaning, as did Christian, just because we had that guy coming over to, you know, look at how much stuff we have for the move. And so I was just trying to tidy up and, like, you know, make sure the house is not gross. So, yeah, did some cleaning, and then he came. Oh, and then I ate, and now we're basically up till now. <laughs> Oh, we also went to the eco center. I was like, I swear there was something else. We brought a whole bunch of cardboard to the eco center because I went to go wash the spare bedding and there's a bunch of stuff we have to move out of there so that my brother and my sister-in-law can actually like sleep in there. <laughs> I was like, oh, let's actually just run to the eco center real quick and that way we can bring all this cardboard because I had all the flattened doll boxes and some other, I had some of the boxes from my notepads, just like the destroyed ones because I'm trying to keep the nice ones. Christian packed up a bunch of books into some of those boxes. Plus I'm gonna need to put a lot of the notepads back in those boxes. Well, hopefully not too many, but like any notepads that have to come with us on the move, I can put back in those boxes. Oh, oh I printed the wrong thing. <laughs> Trying to print the packing slip. Oh baby. Okay. I don't know how much more I can film for this vlog because today's mostly going to be an editing day because I can edit the vlog that's going up this Saturday. I can edit that real-time packaging video I did, but that should be pretty quick. Probably I'll spend more time on the thumbnail than the actual editing. And then um, I have a couple TikToks I could edit. I can start editing this. 
Wendell and Amanda are getting here Saturday. Their flight was originally supposed to be in the morning around 11 a.m., but it got bumped to 8.30 p.m. Like, what? <laughs> We're missing out on that day now. So, uh, I mean, at least that gives me time to, like, do final cleaning in the morning and I can run and get some groceries Saturday morning because Friday will be the, the stream day, so I'll be a little busy on Friday, but yeah. Uh. And they're staying until Wednesday, so... Yeah, that is why I'm doing this extra vlog. I'm filming a little early. Even though I'm so excited for you guys to see the house tour thing, like, <laughs> you know, I filmed it June 1st, but you guys won't see it till like the 10th. Ah, oh no, wait, the 10th is a Friday, the 11th, because I know I'm doing Saturdays, <laughs> Saturday uploads. Because I don't want the uploads to overlap with the live streams, so yeah. Wait, 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 there's a print, and this needs to go with the print. <laughs> in here. Might as well throw the sticker in there. Now, for this order, it says, this one's for Malin. It says, I wouldn't mind if you packed one Kiki hair in the box, lol. And then a green heart emoji. <laughs> so, I've packed up one Kiki hair. <laughs> I probably shouldn't show this because now everyone's going to ask for it. This is a one-time thing. One-time thing. <laughs> one kiki hair. I just got a kick out of that request, so I had to do it. <laughs> wait, I'm missing one of the prints. Oh my god. I was like, wait, I didn't count these. And then I went to look. Yeah, I'm missing one. Because there's a garden bun lesson that's supposed to be in there. Let's grab that. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, okay. Oof, that was close. What else was I going to say in this update? I don't know, I forget. Oh, I got my bicycle put out today too while we were doing our cleaning. I put air in the tires and then gave it a little wipe down because it was really dusty. And then just put it out on the curb for whoever would want it with a free sign on it. And I also wrote that it wasn't broken because some people may be like, okay, why is this bike free? What's wrong with it? There's really nothing wrong with it. I just don't use it. And it, it's true that it, maybe I would use it in Calgary. I got to scope out the paths around our place. But the thing is, I don't like this that style of bike, I realized, because I don't like the curved handlebar. It drives me nuts. And I feel like I'm less stable because I'm used to mountain bikes with like, the, the straight handlebar. So yeah. And I mean, that was a really inexpensive bike too. So I was like, let's just, yeah. I've just been putting stuff out on the curb for free because it's easier than trying to sell it on Facebook Marketplace or something. <laughs> I have two more to package. I'm just gonna speed through these. The first one's for Kirsty, and the next one will be for Pamela. Okay, I've got the four orders here, and I can take these to chit chats. Oh my god, my mic is on. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god. 